how to assemble your own health kits. My name is Daniel Vallis and welcome to our channel. Welcome back to the Brook Chair friends. I just want to make a quick video to show you some more details about the health kit. We've had a number of people asking questions about can we send them a health kit because they are very interested in it and just the whole concept of providing critical water filter supplies and other health needs for a lot of the refugees and those who will be here during the tribulation has really piqued a lot of interest. But uh, people People have asked me can you send me one and so I just want to let you know that we can't send them to you because we are going to be making them for local distribution and we're going to be working on our own stockpile here first because that is the primary mission but there's also several other reasons one of the main reasons is all these are heavily branded specifically for the Brook Cherith and so what I mean by that is we spent some bunch of money on custom stickers and custom bags and very high quality mylar bags a whole bunch of different stickers and labels that go on the covers and everything heavily branded specifically for the brook Cherith. so of course these won't fit for your situation then obviously i will do want to share with you the links you can find the links in the description box where we purchased all these different supplies we got them off of amazon so they're very easy to get i just want to share a few thoughts with them so you can get whatever supplies you want for the number of health kits that you'd want to make for your own family or your own community. Those you want to hand out or leave with your rapture, tribulation supplies. And regardless of what bag or packaging, mylar bag, whatever, whatever you put it in, you can fit all this into a gallon Ziploc bag, no problem. Because if you buy special mylar bags specifically for this, you'll find that you have to buy them in bulk and they are pretty expensive when you buy them in bulk. So you could put them in Ziploc bags and you can find heavy duty vacuum bags for vacuum sealing at Walmart and similar stores like that. You can find that easily locally and you don't have to buy it in bulk for special Mylar bags and all sorts of stuff. So depending on how you want to package it and distribute it, that's an option that you can determine on your own. But when we look at the core contents that are in these kits, one thing that becomes apparent very quickly is there's no substitutions. And that's what unfortunately it makes these kits so expensive they add up to about $26 a kit so that adds up really quickly but that's because everything that is in these kits is very very important of course the water filter straw is the most expensive item and so depending on how many kits that you want to produce and have available in your area this is going to be the main factor because those cost about eight dollars a piece when you buy them in at least a pack of five so and that's the link that we have where you can buy them in a pack of five so of course that's the outlay right up front that you have to make for each one of those so again as you start looking at the cost you'll determine how many of these can we make how many can we afford to make but realize we've already tried to trim as much excess cost and find the most adequate but also most affordable options for all these two so there's really no substitutions for these unfortunately that keeps the cost pretty high for them and to find a decent that's what they are a decent first aid kit we have a link for that too that's in its own little kit ziploc bag too this is great because a lot of them may transfer a lot of this supplies to a book bag or duffel bag or their purse or something like that so this keeps it all together so finding a first aid kit that is very small and compact and can go into a variety of other things and has a good assortment of bandages that really narrowed our focus down on that one and it's very affordable when you buy it in a pack in bulk of 12 it works out to about five dollars a kit so that's really good for what you do get now it depends on how many kits that you want to make and give out and whether you want to have a really beefed up version but you'll quickly find out that the costs really start adding up really really quickly particularly because there's a lot of these things that you have to buy in bulk again there's no substitution so such as the water purifiers by png and you'll find one or two other companies that make the same thing but their pricing is pretty much going to be all about the same and you start getting a cost breakdown or cheaper per kit that you would assemble when you buy it in bulk which you can end up spending quite a bit buying these in bulk because these these are not cheap there's a reason why we're only putting six of these in each packet because they're pretty much expensive by themselves and another thing such as the oral rehydration salts again not many different substitutions you can do for that and of course charcoal capsules these are cheap you can there's a whole variety of different companies that offer activated charcoal capsules 
you can find a good cheap one. We have a link in the description box. So it works out. They're so cheap that you can give them about 16 for about a dollar. That's what it would break down to per kit if you give them 16 capsules. So it's really cheap for that, but unfortunately you do have to assemble it yourself. So you have to get some little snack baggies and purchase a bunch of those because you can't buy them in bulk and then you have to manually fill them up yourself. And we include 16 because activated charcoal is so valuable it is going to be so so important especially if you get food poisoning or some type of gut bug you are going to need at least 16 to get over it and it also gives them the option if they have to drink activated charcoal in a liquid form particularly if they are vomiting heavily and they can't swallow or hold down a capsule you're going to have to open up the capsule and put it into a cup of water so that they can drink it so in capsule form like this Give some variety depending on what their health status is at the moment. But you are going to have to manually assemble all these yourselves. And the same for oregano. We give them six because these are a whole lot more expensive than the activated charcoal. And one company that I highly recommend is North American Urban Spice. You can find different formulations of wild oregano. Sometimes they have, like this one has a few other natural supplements in it as well too. So I really like this combination, but again, when you, by the time you purchase several of these and you realize the cost, you are about crying to give them six of them. But six is the minimum that I would want to have on hand if I had food poisoning and if I was throwing up and all sorts of stuff like that. Because you need at least three to help get over it and then initially and then three follow up as well too. So that gives them at least what they have to have for that but again you're going to have to assemble these kits by yourself individually led keychains you can find them pretty cheap about a dollar but if you buy them in bulk you can really get them down to even about less than half a dollar so it all depends on what are you willing to outlay mylar blankets again you're going to have to buy them in bulk to get them down in price and all all these Soap, you know, depending on how much soap you want to give them, I would highly recommend give them a bar soap, not a squeeze or lotion tube soap or something like that. Emphasize a bar soap, number one, because it's a whole lot cheaper, but then also it's not going to leak all over your stuff or get accidentally squeezed out if somebody sits on it or something like that. So it just reminds them, keep an eye out for soap. Start gathering soap. Washcloths. Don't go for the expensive stuff. <laughs> Look for the most cheapest washcloth. You just need a reusable cloth to wash your hands. So you can actually find cheaper versions of shop towels that they use in shops to wash cars and stuff like that. It's the same cotton material. It's a little thinner, but it will wash your hands. It will be perfect for that. So you can do bulk searches for that on Amazon too as well. We have some of the links in the description box. Chick.com makes these Gospel of John and Romans very thin, very cheap, about uh, 65 cents a piece so that works out and you can buy it in any quantity that you want so that works out really great you can even get it in Spanish as well too we have a link in the description box for our PDF tips for filtering water short term you can print these out on your own printer 8.5 by 11 staple it together fold it over and just stick it in the baggie like that but as you can see there's not a lot that you can substitute so that really affects how many you can make especially when we look at a cost breakdown these are the costs that we had to put out, the outlay that we had to put out even to start assembling these kits. And even after spending $800, we only have 10 kits assembled so far. And as you can see, that's primarily because of the water filter straws and the first aid kits. That's what you have to buy, but you only get five of them and 12 of them. So you can easily get 100 200 supplies of the other things but those that's where the outlay really starts to come and the yellow highlighted items so this is just some thoughts to keep in mind as you may have the idea of oh let's make our own health kits just be aware that the costs are going to add up really really quickly particularly if you want to make multiple of them it's a very good idea but just be prepared that it is going to add up really really quickly and if you are going to make your own health kits very similar to these one thing I produced to help you, you can find a link in the description box, is just a generic PDF with labels so that you can insert a table of contents into Ziploc baggies if you're just going to assemble them that way so that people can see what's in this 
very generic of oregano capsules and activated charcoals leaving brand names off so that way you can find what fits your budget online as well too but just keeping it to the subjects of what is in the kit so you can cut those out and put them in different ziploc baggies and you'll be able to have your basics of your health kit right there so I hope this helps you with some of the logistic planning on just some of the options for health kits that you may have in ministry outreaches there in your area with tribulation supplies for those left behind, but also give you an insight to the needs here for what the Lord is working here at the Brook Chair, and especially our larger work. Once you start buying more and more in bulk, it becomes easier to produce the health kits. It's just the initial startup that is pretty rough. But then once you start getting a good bulk of supplies, you can quickly start making a whole bunch because you do have a lot of the cheaper bulk supplies and those add up really, really quickly. We can get those real easily. And then just as we get the final key components of the water filters and the first aid kits, that rounds out the kits and we can finish them all up then. So I hope this helps, and we will see you next time. Maranatha!